what is up everybody this is beetle 5 keeping the beat with frambo when we last left off we were running through my my house of crazy shit going down and i got a little lost of what i was supposed to do with the it caught clock but i realized that since i got water balloons i could throw the water balloons at the kamala down here and hopefully that will lead me to something else so let's hit that bastard oh I missed okay there we go Oh, okay, I missed again. All right, third time's a charm, and Kabushki! Yeah, I gotcha. Later, Kamala. Wow, I didn't feel the sadness anymore, thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in return. And now I'm guessing the stick will probably help me get the key. A piece of it, you can plant it if you like. <laughs> thank you, sir. I have to go now, I must find my cat. I hope you find it, see you around. Yeah, I doubt I'll see you around, but okay. So, let's just go back to the tippy top of the tree, and let's get me that key, which should open up the final door, the big bloody door, which, you know, is bound to have something really nice behind it. I can reach it, now I have the key, awesome. I didn't need no cool little animation sequence for that or anything. That was neat. Alright. Oh god, that cat has to stop staring at me. <laughs> Alright. Oh wait. Durr. Let's open that bitch. Here we go. Whoa. Hello. Oh my god. It's like it's it's like Woodley Critter Christmas! All the animals are <laughs> Hail Satan! The animals are all screwed up. Creature from above. Get out from Makbuka's den. You are not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Mabuka. Oh, the tree's talking to me. Just Mabuka. Mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwind? Uh, Cogwind is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know who. I assume you have been to into his search town. Horrid place, I may say. Too dazzling. Well, that's exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there with all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My key is waiting for me. I guess I was supposed to use this on her then. Whoa, hello. Ding, ling, 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 ling. Wake up now. Whoa. Ah, be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabuka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Yeah, I can answer myself, thank you. I'm Frambo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabuka's den. That's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Ramor. I think he is your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head already? You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? My pills? Yeah. Well, my pills look like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth. <coughs> oh, excuse me. The truth that you seek. Thank you, but what power has been unleashed? Can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential existence to keep to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence were created parallel with time. Huh. What? What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Valukas from Prim Primivi told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the Son of Darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. There's something obscure happened to you. I think Ramor killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Frambo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then you don't care if Ramor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Whoa. Alright. Going down. Oh, okay. Hello there. This is not what I was expecting. 
Oh, that creature's body is made out of baby faces. That's fucked up. Do I know you from somewhere? You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where is my knitting needle? Uh, oh my god, I remember her. She was from the very, very beginning of the game. I took the needle from the little ball of thorn in the asylum. That's hilarious. Did you stab all your little friends with it? What? Knitting needle? Are you the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you? Ugh, you little beast. Take a number, would you, and wait for your turn in the waiting room. But, Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. Alright then. Number seven. Alright. Oh, we got a good one. Alright. Let's hope the god this doesn't take forever. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait for now. Hours, maybe days. Ha, huh, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? Hmm, I've been waiting for like a month. Uh, but I have number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I have been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally helpless. Oh, Lord. Um, excuse me, everyone, but there are a way to make things faster. Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. And by doing that, you could also help us all. But why won't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't, because I feel very sick. I can't. My R.I. is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. <laughs> what? Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Alright. Mm, but how can you know? Do you feel pain somewhere? That's a very hard question. Make it softer. A hard question? Make it softer. What the fuck? I'm gonna make a question softer. It's very strange. Hey, have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. It is impossible to talk to you! <laughs> you don't make any sense. Of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. <clears throat> That's true, but it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense have do that uncommon sense doesn't? <laughs> it helps to understand each other better. <laughs> we do understand each other very well with our uncommon sense anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. <laughs> okay, hmm, but who is the one that sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It is not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go faster. All right, thank you for nothing. <laughs> Dumbasses. All right. Oh, come on. It's at one and I have fucking seven. Do you see the screen? I have number two. It's almost my turn. Uh, just let's just switch tickets. Come on, you know. I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I found out what illness you have? Would you then give me a ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. All right, now let's go talk to the eye, because he, he knows everything. Excuse me, I need your help. Of course you do. What can I do for you? Can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Oh, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache caused by the low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need his ticket. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry until you fill this bottle will do it. What? But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. Ah, oh, like, so I can't, I can't use fake tears like in Pokemon. Too bad. Right, that will be a problem. I'm at a very problematic point in my life. Yes, you are. You're seeing giant eyeballs and crazy shit. I would say this is very problematic. I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do now. Mapuka said that I was selected for something, but she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort of my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to the other stop and be happy. Oh, look at that. You're wiping my tears. Giant fucking eye stalk. Lovely pain, so profound. Oh, that's 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 lovely. The bottle is not full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going home. Going now. Goodbye. Drink my tears. Drink this, and you'll feel much better. Oh, trying to poison me. <laughs> How lovely. <laughs> How lovely. Let's see. All right, that's nice. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more. Give me more. No, leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. All right, all right, there you go. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> and thank you, your tears taste absolutely delicious. Okay, fucked up creatures would like to take 
Let's taste my tears aside. Let's talk to the nurse and say, yo, yo, I'm next. Am I right? Yep, number two. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty. I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. Many lose their minds instead. <laughs> huh? Lucky. But how do I get an appointment then? Uh, just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Are you? Okay, now I gotta go back to the phone. I knew that phone was for something. Why must I call you? Why can't you just make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly, because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ugh, alright, I'll go make the call then. This is, this is so fucking stupid. I'm really going back just to fucking do this. Oh my god, alright. Let's take a look, see. Are you insane? Call us, the suicide hotline. Beep, boop. Beep, beep, boop. Oh, wait, no. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I fucked it up. Zero, one, two, two, one, two, one, seven, two, seven, six. Hello! I'm insane. Fix me. Oh, uh, hello. Yes, you told me to call to make an appointment. Hmm, it's Frambo. Uh huh. I'm available now. No, 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 yes, I do have a pair of eyes. <laughs> really? Okay. I'll see you in a minute then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye. Y y yes, bye. <laughs> All right, then how utterly pointless and a waste of time that was I'm gonna go back now. Hello patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, Frambo is my name and the appointment is now Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right. Thank you right, Let's go now go. Oh shit. Hello <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite proud. Did I scare you? Look at your fucking face. Jesus Christ, you're scary, man. <laughs> Phew. Yes, this what a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. And you don't. <laughs> you don't look like a healthy human. <laughs> oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. Well, alright then. I'm just gonna go, Mr. Freaky Mask. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> Ramor, you son of a bitch. I haven't chosen to end your life yet. Is so you haven't chosen to end your life yet? Is it the pain you feel enough? You are Ramor, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Ramor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where is my cat? What did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy immensely seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires, and I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You were assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing? I saw you that night outside my window. It must be who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile. Easy to corrupt. Easy to corrupt. Whoa. <gasps> oh, you son of a bitch, you made me kill my parents. Oh, I didn't do it. I didn't. It wasn't. He's not me. Please. He made me do it. He corrupted me and made me kill them. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must suffer and die before becoming a star. Oh my god. Wow. So he made me do it. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. That monster wants to trick me, I know. Everybody is crazy around here. I have to find Kitty and leave. Including you, friend. You're by far the craziest of them all. Let's get the fuck out. Dr. Dern! Hi there! And Kitty! Mr. Midnight, what's up, bro? Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. This is really just a cat here. He's not talking. Why won't you talk to me, Mr. Midnight? Please don't do this to me. Oh, yeah. Talk to me, Mr. Midnight. This isn't funny. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. I'll take you to a heater stop, my darling. Palantros can help us. I promise you nothing will tear us apart again. Yeah. Oh, boy. 
Oh, kitty, I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dern. All right, he seems to be in trouble. Oh, boy, let's get him out of here. Dr. Dern, are you all right, sir? Dr. Dern! Sir, wake up, please, Dr. Dern. Wake up. Are you alive, sir? Ugh, what should I do to wake him up? What's this? A syringe has red fluid. Oh! Red fluid or red pills. Use on me. Use on me. No. All right, let's use it on Dern. Maybe this will wake him up. Oh God! Don't 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 say that with that grin on your face. Oh, right in the neck. Ugh. Ah. Damn. What was that? Don't worry, Doctor Dern. It's me, Fran. Oh, what? I can't see very well. Fran Bell, sir, from Oddwall Asylum. We were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, Fran. Monsters. I don't feel like playing games. All right, it wasn't a monster after all. It just le let me help you. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, and Grace! And who's this? But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. Uh, but I did. I told you she was a hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you. Oh, okay. You, you're, you owe the Oswald Asylum. From Oswald Asylum. That's, that's interesting. Yes, friend, the same old man. But why do you know about my mother and aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. The key? Did you know that my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Remor, Remor did a great job. So you know... I'm not crazy then! You know who Remor is! His power of manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you could be so calm about it. <laughs> That's kind of something I've been wondering throughout this whole fucking game, is how this crazy little chick can be so calm about this situation. I was you holding that knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remor all the time, but why is he hunting me? Remor is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength, Fran. Oswald, please, let's just do what we need to do. Aunt Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go, my kitty. I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. Oh, boy. I don't know. Something's still not right about Aunt Grace. I, I, don't, I don't trust it. What about Dern? Dr. Dern, are you alright, sir? What about an Oswald? Dude, go with your aunt, Fran. Isn't that what you want? What does this switch do? Oh, shit! Oh, I'm sorry, Dr. Dern. I am sorry. Do I do it again? I, uh, yeah, I guess I can't do it again then. Alright. That was kind of amusing. <gasps> Don't you fucking dare drop him over the edge! Don't you dare do it! Oh, no, I'm not listening to anything you guys say. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best, but for that you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course, but there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! YOU MOTHERFUCKER! Oh, no! No, Kitty! You son of a bitch! Stop weeping. The cat is dead now! Fuck you, Grace! Alright? But he was my friend! You killed my best friend! You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live for yourself? I hate you! I hate you! Yeah, that's right! Fucking kill her! Oh, oh, yeah, kill her! Stop it, Fred! Help! Help! Please help! Kill her! Kill her now! Do it, Fred! Kill her! Kill her! Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh! You fucking shot me! Oh my goodness, she's totally insane! You're all insane! Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. What the fuck? 
We need to extract the brain right away! Oh my god! Ha! Ah, Dr. Dern! Fred, are you alright? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend Dr. Dern. She was sick. But she's bleeding! Let me take care of her! No, you won't! She is mine now! I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain! Now that I have her, nothing can stop me! <gasps> it worked! Yeah! Oh, yeah, baby! The force! Oh! The power of the force! Woo! Oh, Fred, everything will be fine. Who, who, who are you? I'm Itwood, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human! Ectobro, Ectobro, Polytros, Monarchist! Polytros! Quickscat, Itwood, I found him! Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl, leave her alone! Midnight! Yes! He's alive! <laughs> Little Fred must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh my god. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fred is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fred, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. Oh my god. It's my soul. Oh. Oh my god, what happened? It would palatros my head hurts. Mr. Midnight, you're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fred, we must go now. Go. All right, Doctor Dern. Look, this is Itward and Palantros. I told you about them. Remember, I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? Huh? Oh, oh, what the? He can't hear you. I think he's under the power of Mabuka now. But the only reason he can see me is because whatever the hell Duo Teen and th th that red mixture shit is, it's something that can see the alt reality. He sees us! But what does Mabuka want with him? We really must leave now. But can he come with us? Please, he has been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But what we can do is make him believe this through all a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantras. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Dirn OM Vankma Sondolesa Ecto. Goodbye, Dr. Dirn. Let's go now, Fran. There's so much you, you must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. I. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I chose happiness. Oh, it was flying machine! Oh, I beat it! Oh my god. That was so good. I mean, the ending confused me a little bit. I mean, I don't understand this whole point thing of what... The, I don't understand the whole premise of this altogether. I mean, why did Oswald want me to begin with? What's so special about Frambo that she want, that she needs to go through all this fucked up psychological shit with Aunt Grace and everybody in order to do this? I, it's so weird. English proofreading by... <laughs> that's not spelled right, what the fuck? <laughs> Alright.
Alright, wow. That's so fucking crazy. I, I really did this, though. Look at that. Whew. Well. That was still a, a hell of a game. I mean, it, it, it was so well made. I loved it. In the GoGo campaign, did a really great job making this game, and I'm really happy that I managed to beat it all the way through. It's... I loved it. So, thanks so much for watching the complete Frambo. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment of what else I should play in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters!